Praise be Jesus Christ, 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time, mini homily. I'm just going to comment on the psalm today. I'm at a camper. I'm getting a little bit of time of solitude. Sometimes in life you need to get away and be alone. I want to speak about how to make whatever situation you're in a paradise, especially when you're alone. The reality is that you're a spiritual being. You have a soul. And when you're alone, you're spirit your soul will naturally want to resonate with your creator with the god who made you that that's just the nature of your soul your soul longs and thirsts for god all the time and when you're in solitude that reality becomes more clear your soul is saying hey i want to be embraced. I want to enter into the embrace of the God who made me. In the Psalms, the psalmist says, bless the Lord, O my soul, let all that is within me bless his holy name. That's what your soul, uh, your soul wants to do. Now, the psalm today is Psalm 138. The psalmist says, I give you thanks, O Lord, with, with my whole heart. You want paradise? Give thanks to the Lord with your whole heart. Before the angels, I sing your praise. When you praise the Lord, the angels get in on the action. They love it. That's why it's paradise. That's why there's glory, there's joy when you praise the Lord with the angels. I bow down toward your holy temple. I give you, th I give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Now, I'm just going to say quickly in, in the f uh, first reading from Isaiah in the gospel from Matthew, we hear about this being able to open, open a door that no one can shut. The Lord Jesus opened heaven for us. No one can shut it. All we need to do is enter in through the blood of Jesus. Uh, the psalmist goes on to say, on the day I called, you answered me. When you're in solitude, not only do you need to call on the Lord, you need to call on the Lord without ceasing. You need to pray without ceasing when you're in solitude. And how do you do that? That's what Saint Benedict, no, it was Saint Anthony, that's what Saint Anthony wrestled with. He was restless. He saw an angel uh, working and then praying, working and then praying, working and then praying. And St. Anthony was told, do this and you'll be saved. And, th and then St. Benedict, building on the wisdom of the Desert Fathers, gave us the phrase, ora et labora, pray and work. And so when you're in solitude, you need to pray without ceasing, but in the context of keeping busy, doing stuff, doing s some kind of manual work or, or, or some kind of tasks. Keep your eyes on the Lord, call on him without ceasing, praise him with the angels, and it'll be paradise. It'll be paradise. Viva Cristo Rey.